Hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to this commission completion video. We've got an additional phase for the huge Cadian army which we completed for the guys over at SM Battle Reports. Uh, Simon completed that army and unfortunately we didn't get a chance to video it uh, or take many photographs of it but the, um, but this is just an additional phase that uh, Shaggy over at um, SN wanted to add to that army. Um, so obviously we're back in a second to have a look at these awesome, awesome models in more detail. See you guys back in a sec. So as always, let's start with the characters of this awesome force. Now, just as a little side note, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, there was a large Cadian force which uh, Simon completed for Shaggy uh, at SM Battle Reports. And uh, this is the subsequent follow-up phase with some characters and additional Lee Man Russes. Uh, but let's dive in and have a look at the man, the legend, Yarrick himself. We couldn't really start with any other characters to start off with just because it is Yarrick. Um, and as you can see here, all the areas of detail work fully picked out, fully highlighted. We are a character specialist here at Siege and that's something that we do pride ourselves on in centerpiece and character models. Uh, and Simon's gone in and done a lovely job here on Yarrick with all the areas of detail work throughout the model. Uh, fully picked out, fully highlighted there with no expense spared. Uh, really, really cool, dynamic, uh, defiant pose there you expect from Yarrick. Uh, but an awesome, awesome model. So that's just him. I'm just moving around just so you can see him around the back again uh, and just give him a bit of a rotate for you guys so you can see there's no expense spared. Every aspect of detail were fully painted and fully highlighted there uh, to a lovely standard. And that's just Yank. Then we'll go to Severina Rain, obviously a very, very new model uh, from Games Workshop. Uh, really, really cool dynamic pose with that lovely saber there, as you can see, uh, and the little pocket watch and everything that comes from the book and the storyline for her, the one that's got the family crest on it and everything. Um, you've got all the details fully picked out, fully highlighted. Now, obviously, she is painted in a very custom colour scheme uh, to match the uh, Cadian army that uh, Shay had done by us. Uh, and I think it's really cool in a different kind of colour scheme, just makes her stand out a little bit different. And uh, I know it's past say not 100% to, uh, to the colours that Commissar should be, but I like the fact that she's donned the colours of Cadia um, to match the army, which is really nice. And I love the blue sash as well. I think it's a lovely complementary colour to the rest of the uh, the model. Uh, but lovely pose, lovely model, really dynamic here, as you can see. I'll just move it around so you can see all the areas of detail were fully picked out. There's nothing that's been sort of left. Um, and we've done a, a sort of lovely stellar job on her, as you can see here. So that's just Severina. And then to finish up the uh, triarch of characters, or the triumvirate, should I say, uh, we have a metal old school uh, Vindicare Assassin, a really, really cool model. Um, it's still very, very strong in the sense of its pose and everything. It's uh, I don't think um, a time has passed and sort of you know made it any weaker. It's a lovely, lovely cast and a lovely, lovely model. Uh, again, with that ex executor rifle there, as you can see, the lenses and everything all fully picked out. You can see the light, the sort of refraction of light on the lenses all the ammo and everything picked out nice subtle highlighted on the skin suit as well as you can see there because you don't want it to have sort of too stark sort of highlights it wants to look very sort of uh, really dark and, and sort of dingy just to match his stealth like appearance and that's just uh, the uh, Vindicare from this awesome triumvirate of characters that Shaggy has uh, commissioned us to do. Uh, up next, we're going to have a look at the uh, Lee Man Russes. One of them is Pask and one of them is an exterminator. So we're back in a second to have a look at those awesome models. So stick around. See you guys in a sec. And lastly, from this phase, we have the two Lee Man Russ battle tanks. Uh, one of them is Commander Pask, and the other one obviously is an exterminator on the left. Uh, we've already done quite a substantial amount of tanks and things for Shaggy, but he wanted Commander Pask and an extra exterminator. Uh, all the weapons are interchangeable as well for these uh, these tanks as well, which is really nice. Uh, so that's just the two. We'll start with Pask. Now, Pask is loose in here just because, obviously, for transport purposes, we didn't want him to snap out in transport, but that can just be attached. Uh, we'll take Pask just so you can have a look at him. He's really cool uh, metal tank commander here that's going to go in the tank, and you can see Simon's done a lovely, lovely stellar job on him as well. He just sits in the cupola there at the top of the tank. Uh, I'll just take him out just so he doesn't rattle around for the minute. And then we can have a look at his uh, Lee Man Russ battle tank. Uh, just move this one out of shot just so you can see the thing fully. Uh, again, someone's done some lovely stellar chipping and scratch work there on the uh, armour panels of the uh, tanks as well. Lovely, lovely transition of dirt as well on the bottom the quarter of the tank, which is really nice. All the lenses as well, painted in a lovely complementary green, as we can see. Uh, a little bit of petrol and stuff, or promethium, just dribbling out there with the petrol cap as well, which is really cool. Uh, and you can see all the attention to detail on all the rivets and absolutely everything fully highlighted, fully picked out and fully painted. Even camo underneath there, as you can see, we don't skimp and not paint the underneath. Got a little bit of rust there in the top hatch of the cupola, which is really nice. 
uh, and that's just the uh, the Pascal and the Man Russ basically. So that's just him. Put that off to one side. Actually, I'll put it there, and then we'll put uh, we'll put Pask back in for the moment. Uh, and then let's have a look at this exterminator again. Another Lee Man Russ, same as before, but just with a different weapon load out here. You've got on the exterminator, same attention to detail and all the chips and scratching and everything, uh, and the sort of dirtying of the, the lower quarter of the tank as well. Uh, really, really cool models. Have lasted the test of time, like a lot of models that you'll see on all of our videos on the channel. We do try and give older models a lot of attention as well just to really sort of keep them up to date uh, and again this is just another one of the tanks that's going to be going to shaggy recently so that's just the two ex Lehman Russes from this commission phase uh, stick around you can see the whole phase again in a nutshell in a second so we're back to have a look at it in its glory see you guys back in a sec Thanks for checking this completion video out guys, really do appreciate it ever so much and uh, if you've liked what you've seen in the video then what we'd love to do is obviously work on a commission for you. Uh, to get in touch with us and find out how to get a quote for your project or models, all you need to do very simply is head to the contact form link which is found in the description of this video, click that link and you go directly to our website's contact form. Select the relevant drop down options on that contact form that match your project for the level requirements for painting, basing, etc. Uh, in the list at the bottom in the message section, complete a list in our format which is all detailed on the website fire that off to us to get the process started. We'll then come back to you with a quote and go from there. Um, also, in the description of the video, you've got the links to all of our social media, so please do drop by those. Give us a follow and like on those respectively on Instagram, Twitter, and also on Facebook. We update those on a daily basis with loads of stuff that we're doing behind the scenes here at the business uh, and all our different projects and bits and bobs we completed as well, do some showcases and things like that. So do check us out on all of those. And finally, while you're here on YouTube, two, a couple of things. Give us a thumbs up on the video because it really appreciates it ever so much and uh, we, you, know, you can obviously let us know how, what you think about the video. Um, also drop some comments if you collect Imperial Guard, it'd be really nice to hear your thoughts on these awesome models. And lastly, give us a subscribe because in that way you can see all the videos that we put up and keep updated with those. And if you do hit the bell icon, you'll always be notified as to when we put an upload up. Uh, so thanks so much for watching the video, really appreciate it and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care of yourselves, bye bye.